Arturo. Never mind. Ari, can you turn on your microphone? Me escucha, profe? Yes, I can hear you. Yes? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Give me one, give me one second. Okay, everybody that's in the class, I want you to listen, okay? What? What does Lori tell Jinho about their old classmate? Okay, so this right here is Lori, and this right here is Jinho. What does Lori tell Jinho about their old classmate? Their old classmate. I'm talking about another person. All right. Ari, can you be Lori and I will be Jin Ho? Everybody else, please listen and answer that question. Do you remember that cool guy in our class like you, last year? Oh, what's his name? You know, he always wore those baggy pants with all the pockets. What do you call them? You mean cargo pants? Yeah, and he had long hair and a funny little bear. What do you call that? Oh, do you mean goatee? Oh, I know, you mean Max. That's right, Max. Well, don't look now, but he's sitting right behind you. And he's wearing a suit and tie and everything. A suit and tie? No way. Yeah, and he's got short hair. He looks different. Wow, very good. Okay. So, everybody, what does Lori, the girl, what does Lori tell Jin Ho about their old classmate? Ari, right, thank you. Come on, guys, give me the answer to that question. What does Lori tell Jin Ho about their old classmate? Oh, yeah. Right now we're in the past. A goatee. He has a goatee or he had a goatee, Arturo. Yes, he had a goatee. What about now? What is he wearing right now? What is he wearing right now? A jeans and t-shirts? Who? Not, not the old classmate. No, 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 no. The old classmate. Lori? Yes, this is Lori right here. And this is Jin Ho, but we're not talking about them. We're talking about their old 
classmate. They're old classmates. So this is a different person, not those two people. Look at the conversation. What is he wearing right now? What is he wearing right now? Nope. Not, not Jin Ho. Nope. Jin Ho y Lori están hablando de su compañero del pasado. Mm. A él me refiero. ¿Qué, qué está usando ahorita? ¿Qué está puesto? What does he have on? What is he wearing right now? Literally, it's in the conversation, guys. It's in the conversation. How about this? First, what is the name? Or what is their old classmate's name? What's the old classmate's name? Max, okay. Max, what is Max wearing right now? Yes, a black suit. Very good. This is Max right here. This is Lori. And this is Jin Ho. Okay, yes, he's wearing a suit and tie and everything. Now, in the conversation, they say, no way. What does no way mean? Does it mean you are sad, happy, or surprised? Sad, happy, or surprised? They're surprised. Now, the reason why they are surprised is because in the beginning of the conversation, they talk about that cool guy, that cool guy in our class last year, okay? Last year, he wore those baggy pants with all them pockets, and he had long hair. He had long hair and a funny little beard. That's what he was in the past. But now, now he's wearing a suit and tie and everything. So he changed his appearance completely. And that is why they are surprised. Like, no veas para atrás, pero ahí está. All right. That's him, Max, right there. Okay. So, comparing Max from last year to right now, what, what changed with Max? What changed with Max?
from last year to now. Hair and clothes. Yes, yes. He changed his hair because last year he had the long hair, right? And now he has short hair. And his clothes, in the past he wore those baggy pants, those cargo pants, you know, for the soldiers. But now he's wearing a suit, you know, very professional. Maybe, maybe he has a job. Okay, very good, Max. Very good. Now, in this conversation, In this conversation, Lori uses some expressions when she can't remember a name or a word. I'm talking about these expressions right here. Can you please listen and repeat after me? What's his name? What's her name? What do you call it? What do you call them? What do you call that? What do you call those? All right. So those expressions right there are used when you can't remember a name or a word. What examples does Lori use in the conversation? She says, what do you call them? What is another example that she uses? What examples can you find in the conversation, my friend? I already underlined one. What do you call them? What are some more examples? It's right there. What do you call that? Very good. That is the other example. What do you call that? Very good one. Thank you. And I think she should use those two examples. Oh no, there's one more. What's his name? What do you call that? What do you call that? You know, when you forget. OK. 
Okay, so let's make something very clear, guys. When I say, what's his name? Am I referring to a man or to a woman? What's his name? Do I want to know the name of a man or do I want to know the name of a woman? A woman, right? Okay, very good. Now, if I say, what's her name, then obviously that refers to the name of a woman. Okay, now here's where things get a little interesting. What do you call it? What do you call that? for things singular or plural my friend very good very good it refers to a thing it is singular Perfect. You know, um, in Spanish, you know, si se dan cuenta, e, e, esto ya lo hemos visto en el pasado, el de it y that. Y como que to, todo lo que hemos visto lo vemos otra vez, pero lo usamos en una forma diferente. Um, y es bueno porque reciclamos la gramática, el vocabulario, y lo aprendemos a usar de otra forma, o con el, el, conocimiento, el conocimiento que ya sabemos o que ya tenemos, lo podemos usar para facilitar lo que viene. Y es really, it's, it's interesting, I, I love it, I love it. Now, what do you call them? Okay, and what do you call those? These are different. That's also for things, but it is not singular anymore. Exactly, it is plural, as my friend once said. So uh, let's practice a little bit, okay? Let's practice a little bit. Um, you know, I really, really need a new thing. You know, you use it to write on the board, on the whiteboard. What do you call it? What do you call it? A marker, marker, very good, very good. Oh man, this morning I was cutting the vegetables and I cut my finger with, um, what was that thing called? What's that thing called? Nobody knows. 
You don't know how to say this in English? How do you say cuchillo? Uh, knife. Knife. Okay, knife. Do you mean knife? Or you mean knife? Okay. Guys, my my thing has a hole in it and i lost some money um what is that thing called what do you call it wallet very good very good okay let's see what else what else um uh, last night i drank too many of those things and i was really drunk what do you call them i drank too many of those things what do you call them some beers very good all right all right now we practice with the blue and we practice with the green now let's go to the red okay Let's practice with the red. Let's see, I'm going to talk about celebrities, okay? Let's see if you remember. Oh, man, I really love that acting from that celebrity. He was very important in the Titanic. He's very handsome, the women love him. What's his name? Leonardo DiCaprio, very good, very good. <laughs> Yossi, <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. Oh man, I really love that singer. She made that song, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. What's, what's her name? Beyonce, very good, very good. All right, man, I really like that singer. It was reggae and he smokes a lot of marijuana. He died, he died. Oh, but Marley, very good. No, con acento, Beyonce is con acento, Beyonce. Okay, but very good, very good Juan Bob Marley. Oh man, I really love that actor. He's he's black. He has two children and he was in the movie Bad Boys. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? What's his name? Will. Very good, very good. Will Smith. <laughs> Okay, okay, very good. Oh my gosh, my cousins are always playing her music. She made that song. She made that song with Nicki Minaj and it's very popular. What, what's her name? Her name, not the song's name. Her name, she made a song with Nicki Minaj. Carol G, very good, very good. Oh my gosh. I love, I love that, that trap, that trap rapper. He's Mexican. And um, last year he made a song called Pollo y Conejo. Pollo y Conejo, Pollo y Conejo. What, what, what's the name? What's the, what's his name? He's, he's been rapping a long time. Very good. Very good, Miguel. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, I, I, I like this type of music. What, what's the name of that artist? He made a song, Viajando en una nube de humo, whoa, whoa. 
Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's reggae. He made it with the reggae song. What's his name? Mm. I think it starts with a C. What's his name? Juan Ari. Did you know his name? The name of the song is Behind in Una Nube. No, you don't know? Oh my gosh. Miguel, Josimar, do you know them? Arturo, maybe? Miguel, very good. Secan. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. He, he is very racist. And he's the president of the United States. What's his name? Juan was very quick. Trump. Trump. <laughs> All right. Very good, guys. Now, let's put this into practice. But just to confirm, his name, the name of a man. Her name, the man of a woman. It that is singular them those is plural right so let's do this together all right so exercise b before we begin look at this right here look at these pictures we have these shoes they're called platform shoes They're called platform shoes. That's platform shoes. Is that singular or plural? It's plural. Very good. All right. Okay. That musician, that musician, okay, right there. If you see this, it is Bob Marley. Bob Marley is a man or a woman? Obviously a man. Um, now, over here it says, that's a really cool watch. A really cool watch. Is that singular or plural? A really cool watch. It is singular. Yes, yes. Very good because it's a. Uh. So you're going to complete the conversations with the expressions like from here. Then practice with the partner. I will help you with number one. So, number one, do you remember when everyone wore those shoes? those shoes okay what expression can i use to complete that i can use two two ex two expressions you remember when everyone wore those shoes what do you call them very good What do you call them? The ones with really thick soles? Oh yeah, you mean platform shoes. I had some, they hurt my feet, okay? So take two minutes and complete these conversations, okay? I'm gonna turn off my camera and my microphone, but I will be watching the chat for any doubts. Complete the conversation.
Arturo, Miguel, Simar, did you finish? No? Okay, I'll wait for you guys. One more minute. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. It's a perfect question. Um, yeah, in this case, those and them is the same. Okay. Those and them is the same. All right. So number two, Miguel, are you talk are you talking to me? Yeah, them and those is the same. All right. Well, Number two, A, who was that music musician? What goes here? Who was that musician? Mm. 
what's his name? Very good. Because a musician is a person, right? What's his name? With those, with his hair and those long twisted things. Things. What is it? Very good. What do you call them? Or what do you call those? Oh, dreadlocks? You mean Bob Marley. Very good. Number three, A. That's a really cool watch. Is it a... Very good. What do you call it? Or what do you call that? Hey, both of them are correct. Very good. That's a really cool watch. Is it a, what do you call that? Uh, an underwater watch? Yeah, a diving watch. Okay, very good. Now, um, the second part of this lesson is saying you mean. Now, wh what does you mean? You mean in Spanish, pues, ir, quieres decir, te, de, te refieres a, estás hablando de, okay? For example, use you mean or do you mean to help someone remember a word or a name, okay? For example, like the example that I gave you earlier, What's the name of that artist? She made that song, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. You said Beyonce. But to make it more formal, you can say, you mean Beyond? Okay. You mean Beyonce? Or do you mean Beyonce, sorry, it takes me a long time to write the accent because I'm on the laptop and you know, the laptop doesn't have the cool teclado like the cell phone. So you mean Beyonce or do you mean Beyonce? Same thing with um, any, anything. It, this can be for people or it can be for things, singular or plural, okay? Do you mean Shoes? Do you mean markers? Do you mean a speaker? Do you mean a wallet? You mean a comb? What is this? I use it for my mangoes. I grab my mangoes. It's very good. It's, for me, it's perfect for my mangoes. It's a knife. Yes, a knife. I love it. My family always brings uh, mangoes to the house, and I take the mangoes and very fast. Um, okay, that's how you respond to the person when you want to help them remember a word. Okay, so let's let's look at this strategy plus you mean you can say you mean or ask do you mean to check what someone is talking about or to suggest a word or name do you mean go t oh i know you mean max okay so we're gonna do this exercise oh very good Provecho, ari what words are those people 
trying to think of? Respond using you mean or do you mean? Okay, number one. I'm going to buy a pair of those baggy pants with lots of pockets. You mean cargo pants? Okay, yes, everybody knows cargo pants have a lot of pockets because it's the pants for soldiers, right? Now let's see if we can do number two. Number two, my brother has long hair and he wears it in a... What is that? He wears it in a... Yes, but give me the complete sentence. The complete sentence. Very good. Do you mean um Do you mean a ponytail? Yes, Juan Carlos? Yes. Do you mean a ponytail? Perfect. Number three, my friend has those cute little spots on her nose. Those cute little spots on her nose, like a gringa. Let's see, you mean... What are those cute little things on the nose? You see, like who? Like Anne Hathaway, like Betty La Fea. You mean freckles? Very good. Now, I want you to do number four, number five, and number six by yourself, okay? Now, if, if you don't understand a word, I want you to use Google, okay? Use Google. I will give you three minutes. Please write complete sentences. Use do you mean or you mean, da da da, okay? You have three minutes, guys. Any questions, I will be attentive.
Sorry, I don't know how to use emojis with my laptop. Okay. Well, since you guys are finished, uh, let's see. Number four. When I was a kid, I wore those things on my teeth. You mean braces? Very good. Oh my gosh, why are you fast? You mean braces? Okay, and you can say the question too. Both are correct, okay? Number five, what's the word to describe a person with no hair? Very good. Do you mean bald or you mean bald. And number six, what do you call twins when they look exactly alike? Do you mean identical? Oh my gosh, my space bar is not working. Do you mean, do you mean identical twins? Or you mean identical twins? Arturo, what's always wrong with your face? I see your sad face. Okay, yes, guys, that is it right there. That is the answers. Okay, identical twins, bald, bra braces, freckles, ponytail, and the cargo pants. I don't have any cargo pants. Oh, yes, I do. Give me one second. I'm going to show you my cargo pants. Okay, guys, these right here are the cargo pants. You know, they have pockets right here. I have a pocket right here, pocket right here. You know, I, I, I like cargo pants because they have many pockets. You see, they kind of like for soldiers. Um, do, you have, do you have cargo pants? Yes. No. Do you have cargo shorts? Because I have cargo shorts too. Ari, do you have cargo shorts? No? Okay, okay. I like them because you can put many things in your in your pockets. You can have your cell phone, your wallet, your keys, a knife, uh beer. Okay, you can put a lot of things in your in your pockets. Shorts, yes, yes. The the cargo shorts are, are nice for, for girls. All right, cool, cool. All right, now celebrities. Oh my gosh, look at all these pretty women. My favorite, Penelope Cruz. Okay, so listen to Jan and Liz talk about photos of celebrities in a magazine. Who are they talking about? Number the pictures. Okay, we have six celebrities. We have 
Julia Roberts, Penelope Cruz, Lucy Liu, Cameron Diaz, Glyneth Paltrow, and Nicole Kidman. Now, they look kind of similar, okay? They look kind of similar because they are celebrities. But let's, let's, let's have a little closer look. Let's look at them a little more particular. Okay, so this, this is Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts is beautiful. She has curly hair. She has a big smile and her hair is brown, right? And no jewelry, no jewelry nothing just simple beauty simple beauty okay now we have penelope oh my gosh penelope is beautiful she is she is thin right she has brown hair but it is not curly her her hair is straight right and she has nice earrings do you see the earrings pierced ears and she has a little necklace, a small necklace, okay? And now look at Lucy Lu. Nice, I think she is Japanese. Japanese, uh, Japanese Lucy Lu has black hair, black hair. Her, her type of hair is jet black. Jet black is the black that is very shiny, very shiny. See, for example, right here, I have two different blacks. This is matte because it's not shiny, but this is jet black because it's very shiny, brilla. Okay, so this is not is not jet black. This is matte, and this is jet black. It's very shiny, just like her hair, and she has these big earrings. It's nice. She's not smiling, it's very small. Okay, now look at Cameron Diaz. Oh my gosh, it's for Miguel. Um, Cameron Diaz has blonde hair. It's, it's long and it's blonde. Blonde and long. And um, she has beautiful eyes. They are blue. And she is smiling very nice, okay? And look at this woman, Glyneth Paltrow. Glyneth Paltrow has blonde brown hair. She has nice blue or green eyes. She is not smiling, but she is wearing a, a, special, a special type of sweater. The sweater she is wearing is called a turtleneck sweater, a turtleneck sweater. If you know turtles, the animal, tortugas, they have a long neck, okay? So they they call these sweaters a turtleneck sweater because it has a long neck, like Glenn Paltrow. It's white, she's beautiful, she is not smiling, she's just very small. And then we have Nicole Kidman. Okay, I like it. She has wavy curly hair she looks very serious you know very serious and she has nice blue eyes the same thing okay so we have those six celebrities julia roberts penelope cruz lucy lou Cameron Diaz, Glenn Paltrow, and Nicole Kidman. You are going to listen to a conversation. You're going to listen to Jan and Liz talk about photos of celebrities in the magazines. Who are they talking about? Number the pictures one to six. Give me one moment. I am putting the the video 
on here so it can sound good. I will play the audio only, let's see what time it is. I will play the audio only one time. And I will stop after each person so we can identify them, okay? So here we go. Please, if you have headphones, put in your headphones and um, get ready. Page 113. 3. Listening and Speaking. Celebrities. A. Listen to Jan and Liz talk about photos of celebrities in a magazine. Who are they talking about? Number the pictures. 1. Look at this picture. Is she American or British? American, I think. She married a singer, I think. I love that look. You know, the high neck. Simple but elegant. Yeah, and she's not even wearing any jewelry. No, she doesn't need it. She had brown hair last year. I know. I like it blonde, though. Arturo, you can't hear? Yes, you can hear? Can you hear the audio? Okay. Mira, eso es lo que voy a hacer. Todos los que todos los que no pueden escuchar el audio, ahí les puse el link para que puedan ir a YouTube y escuchar el audio y completar el ejercicio, ok, Carlos, Miguel, Ari, Josimar, ustedes escucharon el audio, bueno, la primer parte del audio, yes, 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 ok, yes, ok, entonces en este caso vamos a seguir juntos, Um, Arturo, bueno, te puedes ir a YouTube y escucharlo ahí y al rato che checamos juntos. Okay, what, who was the first person? Who was the first person, guys? Yes, the first person is Paltrow because it said a long neck, right? That is number one. Now let's do number two, okay? Two. Oh wow, she's beautiful, with the long, dark brown hair. The one with her hair up? No, no, it's really long and straight. She's wearing it down. Oh, yeah, she has beautiful dark brown eyes. I really like her necklace and earrings. So simple. Yeah, she looks great. Three. Okay, guys, who do you have for number two? Penelope, yes. All right, here we go, number three. Oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah, she's really pretty. I'd love to have straight blonde hair like that. I know. It's kind of long here, but she often wears it short, too. Yeah, she does. She has pretty eyes. Yeah. Is that her natural eye color, or does she have colored contact lenses? I don't know. They're very blue. They're such a clear, bright blue. Yeah, and she has a great smile. Look how white her teeth are. Yeah, 
Look, she has pierced ears. Four. Now she's in some wonderful movies. Is she American? I don't think so. I think she's from Australia. I love her eyes. She looks straight at you, you know? It's like she's just looking right at you. Yeah, and they're so blue. Her hair is pretty long here. In some of her movies, it's short. Yeah, and it's kind of curly here, too. It looks nice. Yeah. Sometimes her hair looks kind of red, but here it's really blonde. Five. She's another one with a great smile. Yeah, but her smile is really amazing. Oh, look. Her hair is almost the same color as her eyes. I like her hair like that. It's straight sometimes, but I like it like this. Really curly. Oh, yeah. Does she ever cut her hair and wear it short? I don't think so. Maybe once for a movie. Six. Who's this? Um, she's on TV. She was in a show about lawyers. Oh, yeah. But she's in movies, too. She was in some with Cameron Diaz. Yeah. Great hair. Is it black? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's black. It's very straight, anyway. Though it's a bit curly here. It's beautiful. And I love her earrings. They're so long and elegant. Yeah, they're amazing. Yes, guys. <laughs> very, very good. Um, now, this, this was good. You know, we practice identifying people, talking about the appearance, and, you know, that's important in all the aspects, you know. It gives you something to talk about. Ahora pueden identificar la gente y describir cómo se ven, you know, and... If you have, you know, any doubts, you know, review, review your, your student book or ask me any questions um, about anything, okay? And um, <clears throat> what, what I would like for you to do for homework is page 84 
and 86. Okay, two pages. 84 and 86. All right. Um, how do you feel this lesson? It's interesting, it's stupid, it's good, it's bad. What do you think? It's good? Okay, thank you, Ari, thank you. Well, I, I hope that you can use this, you know, th this is good information, all right? And well, guys, mm, that is all for today. Um, I will see you next week. But before you go, I have something I want to tell you.